are certain times with certain things where I don't have the same confidence. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another Pretty Motivated video. Yes, hello, how you doing? Uh, listen, I, um, I want to talk about something because it is something that I've definitely dealt with and I know you've probably dealt with a time or two or maybe you're just better than me and you're like, mm -mm, I'll never have no problem with confidence because I'll be like, look, look at all of this, look at all of this, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have times when I can be like that and then I have times when I'm having to figure out how to build it up like Super Mario levels, like how am I going to build up my life? Um, and so that's what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to spend some time kind of diving a little bit deeper on how to shine, how to shine, how to get out of your own way. Because really, at the end of the day, the only person standing between you and all of the things that you want is you. And I know. And it's only person standing in my way is me. And so I get that. And there have been times in my life where I've been showing up and showing out and been like, yeah, yeah. And specifically, there's one, one thing that I remember most. So in college, I was, I studied broadcast journalism and I had an internship at a radio station. And I remember like I came in like every other intern, like whatever, and the program director's like, yeah, whatever. And they had one of those video shows, you know, the ones that come on late at night on your like local cable network that like nobody watches or only the people after the club that are probably like cheaping or whatever <laughs> and only those people are the ones that actually watch it well so this radio station had one of those and i was like that's what i want to do like no shade to radio but like put me on a camera man like that's what i want to do and so here i am like i don't even know how long i was actually in my internship it wasn't very long whether it's a week two weeks i don't know but i went to the program director so i knew that all of the radio djs hated the camera thing like it wasn't their steez it wasn't their thing they're like yo i work these i work this i play music i talk to the people that's what i do that's my lane and i'm gonna stay in it and they were saying that before that was even a thing and i was like well you see that lane over there that's the lane i'm trying to get in so i slid into the program director's office one day and i was like hey listen like He's sitting there at his desk, like this one CDs were a thing. Like he had all of these like promotional CDs from different artists and press kits from like artists that wanted to get on the radio. And so he's going through this and he is already annoyed because so many of them had not put it together properly. And it was like, hey, yo, listen to my music. And anyway, so that's neither here nor there. However, he was like, you know, doing that. And so I walk in and I'm like, hey, and he's like, Mm-hmm. He could already tell, like, what do you want? No, right? <laughs> so I'm like, listen, like, I know that we have this video show and I know that nobody wants to do it and I would love to do it. And he goes, listen, Trina, like, I love your enthusiasm and no shade to you, like, personally. However, every intern that has come in here has said the same thing thing and how are you going to be any different because what they do is they say yeah they want to do all this stuff and when the camera comes on they freeze and I was like listen when the camera comes on your girl comes on <laughs> like I'm here for this this is what I do boo and he was like that's what he heard but he's like okay cool like I got better things to do I'm busy so yeah whatever we'll talk about it again so finally he gives me my opportunity I rocked it out I was hosting the show pretty soon I was like putting the show together pretty soon I was like my own cameraman because I ran out of radio DJs who wanted to help me with it and I was just like doing my own thing all across town interviewing you know, celebrities, you know, and just doing all of it. And with mad confidence, crazy confidence, I don't remember a lot of insecurities coming up. I just did my thing. Now, fast forward to present day. And there are certain times with certain things where I don't have the same confidence. And I'm going, what has happened? What happened?
happened to that young girl who was like, yo, this is what I want to do and blah, 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 blah. So what I understood is life happened. Life happened to her. Rejection happened to her. Mistakes, failures happened. Heartbreak, relationships happened. So many things happened to that girl. And so now she's scared of rejection because she knows it hurts like hell because it's happened 50, 11 times, you name it. So I thought, well, how do I get back to her? Because she is me. And I know that that translates for you because there's some area of your life or some time in your life when you just showed up and showed out without questions, boo-boo, am I wrong? Am I right, okay? So how do you get back to that person? Because you are that person. She's in there, he's in there. And how do you get back to the essence of what that person was about? Well, you start shedding the bullshit. You start shedding the fact that you made some mistakes. Okay, so what? Who cares? So you have some new dreams and you have new things that you want to accomplish and maybe a few more new responsibilities too. But the essence of who you are is still in there. So what you've got to do is remind yourself of your greatness. I wish that I could come in your mirror every morning and be like, hey, yo, you got this. Yes. And come in every morning and be like, yes. I wish I could. I totally would. But the most I can do is slide in YouTube with videos like this and also the podcast. <laughs> the podcast, a shameless plug. That's right, but I ain't got no shame, baby. Um, so listen, so I wish that I could come in and pour life into you every day and remind you of your greatness, remind you when you played that sport and you kicked the ass, remind you when you got that job that nobody thought you could get, remind you when you moved to a new city, didn't know nobody, remind you of those great milestone moments in your life and remind you of the kick ass person that you are because you still are that person yes maybe you've made some mistakes yes maybe life has been a little tough on you and you've hit some bumps in the road but that does not mean that you can't do your thing trust me trust me when i say i have had many 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 reasons to stop showing up right here right now but i know what i want to do and i know that i want to live in my purpose and i'm sure there is something about your life that you want to experience some dream some vision that you've put on the back burner because 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 i know i get it but let me tell you something the only way that you can rebuild your confidence is in the doing. So when you start doing the things that you're afraid of, when you start going anyway, when you start asking anyway, then you start to build up the confidence. It's not something that you magically wake up with as though God waved a wand over you while you were asleep and said, bibbity bobbity boo it's not that at all i wish it was i wish it was i would definitely be like lit for life if that's what happened because i pray and i'd be like now lay me down to sleep make my life lit or something along those lines you know what i'm saying like me and god we like here universe and source and all the above and that's what i would do but i realized that the confidence comes in the actions and yes when we're young and life hasn't beat us up we're just overly confident and super duper naive and we don't even know why we have this confidence because we haven't done anything but we're just confident but then we make a couple of mistakes or we get fired or somebody said something bad about us or someone breaks our heart and all of a sudden all of those little things start to make us shrivel up and stop being lit for life and you have a light inside of you that is made to shine and you need to let that little light shine shine baby shine so every day creating 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 opportunity for yourself to move forward in life is what is going to get you to where you want to be it's no magic wand baby it is the little steps that you do and commit to every day that helped you stand a little taller and feel a little bit better about yourself and start to reveal the essence of who you have always been who's been hiding underneath 
the life that you've experienced. So listen, get lit for life. I'm sliding your mirror tomorrow and be like, you got this. Yes. That's what I'm gonna do. I, I'm really gonna try to do that. I'm gonna pray about it. I'm gonna say a little, this little light of mine. Let it let it shine. Let yeah. <laughs> listen that's what I'm gonna do but as you know what sharing is caring so listen you got a friend a family a co-worker who gets on your nerves who could value from this video so please share this video with them comment down below let me know how this poured into you and did you see me in the mirror the next day like did you see me because I was definitely working on that energy and I really gotta work out my Woosa, so I can show up for you more. But anyway, if you didn't get enough of me here, then please listen to the podcast because the podcast is all about helping you find the balance and you can listen to it while you are working out at the gym, getting up in the morning, getting your coffee, whatever you're doing. And definitely, um, I would love to hear more from you and I want you to be as involved in the tribe as what works for you. So thank you so much. Deuces. I'm out.